and welcome back to another video. So, what were we doing yesterday? I was bidding online on an auction. You've won the auction. Oh no. So, um, yeah, lots of, um, well, how do I rephrase that? I won the auction, but the reserve was not met. So, there was a little bit of backwards and forwards and bartering and haggling and banter, and then we struck. But it's still a gamble, it's an auction. What have we bought? Have to wait and see to find out. Currently on our way to Doncaster on the M18, and we are 20 minutes away from being on scene. Hopefully, enjoy this little journey with me today. See what we've bought and what we're going to do with it. I don't know, but you'll have to wait and see. Stay tuned, stay alive, stay subscribed, and I'll see you when we get to Doncaster. Thanks for watching. Very nice. Brad's Cam Recovery Doncaster. Very nice, Abby. We are nearly there. Roads are a bit of a faff, but yeah, we are nearly there. Another truck. A Borough. Going for seven half ton Izuzu or three and a half ton Izuzu. I think it must be quite a big industrial estate. And the truck in front of it is just shaking like mad on this lovely road. And it actually says on this sat now, Santoff Industrial Estate, but I'm, I'm sure there's a co part in Santoft as well. So maybe there's two auction places, I don't know. But we'll soon find out. <laughs> ah, there it is! There it is! <laughs> Down there! Ha! Ha <laughs> ha! Found it! Right. Park in this space here. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> very good, very nice! Very good, very nice! Hello, Nicky Minaj. Hello, Chicken Nugget. Right. Let's go inside and sign the paperwork. Let's let the turbo cool down. Nice little 100 mile journey. Very good, very nice. That's a good one, my way. Pro rock. I'll do it that one if you want. Gotta go up, drive round and then uh, give the slip over and that's it. So quite a smooth operation so far. Compared to so far. Alright, we're on bar we. Ooh, is it going down? Is it going up? Oh, it's going down. Not that you'll see it, but... No, you can't. Do not proceed until the curb is loaded and the traffic light is green. The light is green. Are we going up? Are we going up? Are we going up? No, we're just going across. Mm. Right, one way. So there's a little cabin. Can I go under it or over it? Yeah, probably need to go under it. No, maybe, I can't remember. No children. Do I go in there? I don't know, that's not a cabin, is it? Oh, oh that's the cabin, the blue cabin. Oh, this one, is oh, it? Behind the caravan. Oh, right, yeah. Oh, dear. <laughs> yeah, I'd say so, too. Oh, you might as well have a sack, eh? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. it go around the system I've gave him my little golden ticket and he's gonna get the Iveco red did we just say Iveco he's gonna get the Iveco ready <laughs> it's a one-way system but you have to follow around and keep eyes out for any other trucks any other things that might come for an auction hmm. it's a one-way system but I think I might I'll go one more just so I don't have to go around the system again Lots of stuff for sale to be fair. Lots of stuff. Ah, 
that yellow that's a yellow Mercedes Atiga that went through auction yesterday but I don't know what it sold for but I think that had quite a high reserve I'm sure it was about 50 odd thousand pounds this one here Huh? Is that the AA? Yeah, I'm assuming it'd be XAA to be fair. Yeah, we'll be able to get the tons of stuff. Absolute rocks. Bounce, bounce, bounce. <laughs> Jesus. Saw the trailer units on the right. Ah, here she is. That's the one. Yeah, the bed is quite high. A lot higher than the DAF. Right. Park up here. Hazards on. Let's have a walk. small little weep off that ram on the back. Very small little weep. Not the end of the world. Hopefully it's not too major. Yeah, ram seal is leaking. Not the end of the world, they can soon be addressed. Bed height, to be fair, is not as high as another Iveco accident unit that I've seen before. That is not too bad at all. Um, obviously it's a twit there. It does have a hydraulic winch. It's sitting quite low in there and it's not on air suspension to my knowledge. No, just on these springs, so it's quite a low sitting control. Alright. Yeah. Sure, it's not Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Always promising. Fingers crossed. Yeah. Oh. Word I'm after now, I can't be worse together. It's a slide winch, you can bring it when you're doing snap from side to side. That's cool. Just we'll have to do a bit of a walk around check in a minute, just if you want to and brakes and reverse. Body works in pretty good nick. Obviously had a bit of a paint job before. I look so okay. Start the top. Getting bigger by being better. That can go. I can like go with that. Uh, Big is not always better. Uh, right. Yeah, that looks too bad to be fair. I think it used to belong to M8 Recovery.
uh, wheel carrier. But that's loose. We can't have that on a truck. Have to go in the cab. I'm used to having air suspension. I think that'll be the levers for the bed. Yep, I might need that in a minute. So let me see if I can engage the PPO. Come with me. Very size unit, isn't it? Yeah. Here's a PTO in. Can hear it the case in there, but give it another look. Oh, it might be settled possibly on the IAB maybe. Uh, it might have used the IAB blast for the photos. Could be a switch somewhere to flick it over. over from the eye up to the body. What? What's that one? That. That's for the eye up. Yes, 
Yeah, all it was, there was a sequence of three buttons in the cab to then activate it to work. That's it. So, happy days. And I must admit, the loading angle is actually very nice. Very good, very nice. Right, now let me look at this top deck. I won't be using it. If I can go flat, would be a bonus. <coughs> but I don't want to trap the winch cable. Let's have a look. So, oh, fucking hell. That's the <laughs> problem. I'm gonna breathe. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's got a seal that's gone. So, yeah. But we aren't gonna use this top deck. Uh, yeah, there you go, that's the joys of buying at auctions, guys. Right. That can soon be snipped and off. Let's get this loaded. And uh, lashing points are there. So, give it a go. I don't want to go all the way up the deck. So that'll do me for there. Luckily, I came with straps because there's not with the truck. But yeah, so if you get all tuned, you just got to be on your guard that you might. What's the old saying? You win some, you lose some. So far, we've got a good truck. Top deck is not for me. The deck probably used to sit flat on the ground, but at the minute it doesn't. Naughty auction people. <laughs> and then your seal goes like that. Forget it, job done. Right, stand back, let's see if it goes up.
bit slow going here, I can hear a bit of a leak on the back of the sleeve. So that's it. So yeah, a little bit of TLC is required on this one. But at the end of the day, it is what it is. Right. Just gonna put the side lights on and just do a brake pedal test. And hit the brake lights. If you could just give me a thumbs up, would be lovely. It's official, we are in the Iveco Euro Cargo 18 ton accident unit. Um, how do I feel right now? I'm alright, I'm good, I'm alright. A few little letdowns, I've got a very small red warning light on the dashboard which I'm going to pull over and check shortly and a little yellow light. Um, but yeah, the bed's alright, minus the top deck, but I don't use top decks, that can obviously be removed, repaired, or we might flip the vehicle, I don't know. Um, but yeah, so far so good. A couple hours back home, fingers crossed we get back in one piece. If you like what you see, like and subscribe and stay tuned for the next one. I will see you later on with a little more of an update. Thanks for watching. Somebody's either had a blowout or a seriously bad day. Jesus. Jesus. Well, the highway's obviously not far from here anyway, but that's a badass blowout. Bloody hell. Whew. Just gotta watch where we're going, because I don't want to get any blowouts myself, but that is a bad blowout. I think that's took out the plastic arch liner. Jesus, it has. Oh. And how can you have that side up here? Back to national speed limit. Gee, man, that's bad. But where's the culprit? Does he even know he's had a blowout? You've got to, haven't you? You've got to, haven't you? You've got to know with that. I've never had a lorry blowout to wood. That's great. But yeah, that ain't cool. That is not good. But he's got to be up here. Got to be. Yeah. Let's move right. Incident in lane one. It's a. What is it? What is it? What is it? I want to really move out. Another lane would be nice, but that is in a dangerous, vulnerable spot. And it's seven. But we're still limping it. He's still limping it. <sighs> Don't get me wrong. The damage is done. You are 600 yards from a lay bar. Oh, it's a front as well. Oh dear. Oh dear. Yeah, it always gives me the feels and the chills. It's not pretty, but I can't do anything in this. I can't do anything at all. Um, yeah, all I can do is ring up highways now. That's it. But I say they should be locked, judging off that matrix. Uh, but yeah, we'll make the phone call now to highways. That's it. And that's his lay-by here if he can make it there. But on the front and on the steer, he might well be damaging that rim. So it'll be a long day for the driver. But hey, you're in a dangerous spot there. Realistically, where all the debris was, and that I think because of how slow the traffic was 
and it was built up, you could have actually stopped on the left hand side, it'd probably be at that and get out of the vehicle, because the traffic was slow, it was practically standstill, and that's what you want. When you're broken down, you want the traffic to be standstill, it's the safest thing for you. Oh well, give Highway to call now, thanks for watching. Fire. That's it, we all slow down on this side, come on guys. Yeah, van's overheated and nearly caught fire up. Very lucky escape though. Before I had an oil leak, there was a lot of blue paper underneath. So how's the Ivico going? <laughs> Not great. We are currently stuck <laughs> in gear, limping it to the garage. I was about to do a job and it's failed on me. So yeah, we're crawling it 20 miles an hour to the garage. It's gonna have a new clutch and a reconditioned gearbox. That's it for now. Joys of buying at auction.